Hi, my name is Katie Ziskins. I'm the owner of Wisdom Within Counseling here in Nyanza, Connecticut. We specialize in going beyond just talk counseling, integrating holistic therapies alongside outdoor therapies and art, as well as yoga. You can read more about our services for boosting self-esteem and better body image at wisdomwithinct.com. In this video, I wanted to give you a couple quick tips that you can use to start feeling more socially confident and better being yourself today. Tip number one, be proud of who you are. All the things that you've been through, the worries, the stresses, the struggles, the anxieties, really tough life experiences have made you the amazing person you are today. Focus on being your authentic self. Instead of trying to put on a mask to be someone you're not, Focus on loving yourself just the way you are because you're an amazing person right here, right now. And holistic counseling helps you focus on self-awareness, self-acceptance, and be authentic in all of your relationships. In Nyanza, Connecticut, we specialize in helping you connect with your mind, your body, and your spirit so you can attract healthy friendships and create a life you love. Tip number two for being socially confident is to not drink alcohol in hopes to be more socially confident. Typically, many people in America will say, oh, I'm gonna have a little liquid courage. Alcohol will actually increase your anxiety in the long run. Alcohol, when you're in a social setting, is maybe in the moment going to give you a boost of self-confidence, but along the way, you're not actually gaining coping skills. The best thing that you can do is naturally feel confident. Tell yourself you're awesome. Think of a few conversation topics ahead of time about pets or family or hobbies in order to be naturally confident. You don't need anything to be better than who you already are. And if you're turning to alcohol to create a sense of confidence, it's not actually genuine. You want to present yourself as authentic, real, and create meaningful relationships from a place of being grounded, not through alcohol or drugs. This is especially true if you're dating someone new. Notice if they drink too much or if they use drugs um, because you really want to stay away from those things. If someone has an alcohol or drug problem, they're probably not the best dating material. Um, they're probably better being a friend or maybe even an acquaintance until they can get themselves centered, um, grounded, and just high on life. Um, we don't need extra substances. Um, so, if you have someone that you know who's really struggling, maybe got a DUI, um, perhaps is turning to alcohol as numbing, or having too many drinks at night, we can help support self-confidence from the inside out. We also teach positive coping mechanisms for releasing work stress, career struggles, and relationship issues in positive, healthy ways. So if you're feeling anger or frustration, instead of turning to alcohol, you can turn into working out, yoga, art therapy, or even taking your therapy session outside for a walk and talk session by the beach. Um, so right in session, you'll be learning positive coping skills. And last but not least, my third tip for working through anxiety, working to really love yourself and be authentic in all the relationships that you create is to develop a, a spiritual practice. So in our Americanized society, we try to take spirituality out of everything. We tried to take God out of the Pledge of Allegiance, and we even had issues with um, yoga in school systems because people thought that was too spiritual or religious. But I wanna challenge you to create a spiritual practice because spirituality is what will help you realize that your life has purpose and meaning. Uh, being connected to universal energy or praying to God or saying a Hail Mary before you go to bed. Whatever your spiritual practice is that helps you realize you're more than a physical body. You are more than your past. You're more than your trauma. You are good enough just the way you are whether that's going to Catholic Mass, or whether that's a 10 minute meditation practice on loving kindness every morning. Create some type of spiritual connection for yourself in your life. Um, it's very helpful to have something to believe in, to put faith into something when um, you maybe are looking into the unknown and feeling anxiety and afraid. So really try to delve into something spiritual for yourself, whether that's Buddhism or Taoism, 
I love the philosophies behind Taoism. Uh, Taoism, the symbol is the yin yang. Um, so there is this S curve that always symbolizes that change is the only thing that is predictable. Um, and so we're always balancing light and dark. And in the dark, there's always a little bit of light. And in the light, there's always a droplet of darkness because without the light, um, you know, we would be stuck in the darkness. And if we only had light, we wouldn't really appreciate it because we wouldn't know the darkness. Um, so see what you can do to research spirituality in the next few days. And you may start to see a better perspective on your situation and really start to believe in something like a higher power. Um, because you are here for more than what you can see right now. Your purpose on this earth, you might not be able to see why you're here, you might feel really down and depressed, but your life has meaning and your life matters. So see what you can do to make this world a brighter, better place. Simply smiling at a stranger walking on the sidewalk can brighten the world. It doesn't have to be big. I'm Katie Ziskind, the practice owner of Wisdom Within Counseling in Nyanza, Connecticut. We specialize with anxious children, depressed teenagers, and distant young adults in holistic counseling. And we teach positive coping skills so that your child who's having bad behavior in school and getting sent to the principal every day can learn healthy ways to release frustration. And you're a teenager who's self-harming, struggling with peer drama, bisexual, and dating a couple people can learn healthy relationship skills, how to value him or herself, and have healthy outlets for releasing stress in positive ways for college years and beyond. For instance, an angry teenager who really is frustrated with school may feel deeply connected to him or herself through outdoor walk and talk therapy along the Niantic Bay Boardwalk. Going outside for a walking session can feel empowering, courageous, and inspire a teenager to see more than just school or to see more than just the peer breakup um, and believe in him or herself again. In Niantic, Connecticut, we're located right across from Niantic Center School and next to Smith Acres on West Main Street. Um, often, we're known to work with parents and parent support sessions to understand a child's concerning behavior and to help your whole family function better and thrive again through creative holistic counseling. I'm Katie Ziskind. Um, if you're looking to get started, we only have a few session times available call or text for a phone consultation for holistic therapy and better self-confidence. 860-451-9364. You can read more about our holistic therapy services, specialization in trauma therapy, yoga therapy for PTSD, art therapy for teen girls who self-harm to learn better coping skills, and even play therapy and outdoor therapies for young children who have high energy levels. We're an out-of-the-box practice, and you can read more about what we do in Niantic, Connecticut at wisdomwithinct.com. If you know a frustrated child that needs coping skills to release and express feelings in positive ways, please share our contact info. Or if you know an adolescent or teen girl that has self-esteem issues, body image issues, and needs help processing feelings and feeling better about themselves, please, again, share our info. Anxious children, depressed teenagers, and distant young adults are our specialty. Have a great day.